Hi everyone, welcome to Trophy Pursuit. It's hard to believe that it's already December 1st. 2015 has literally flown by, and with that, we have, uh, we've made a lot of great memories of field. I'm looking back and, and thinking to myself of all the successful hunts we've had over the past 11 months, and it blows my mind. Our team has really came together. We're learning as we go, and we're having a lot of fun with this. I think, to be completely honest with you, that the, the hunt that we're going to air today is, is probably one of, in my opinion, more special hunts that we've ever aired here at Trophy Pursuit. This hunt is more than just uh, another team member filling the tag. This hunt, to me, proves so much. It proves that no matter what happens in life, that as long as you want something bad enough, that you won't allow anything to get in the way. You won't allow anything to stop it. Today we're going to follow along with Cole Nelson, who is paralyzed from the uh, chest down. I think when you watch the video, you'll understand why Cole is such an inspiration to many of us. And uh, just the fact that he's got a positive attitude, he doesn't let things get in his way. And yeah, he does have some great people in his life who help him out along the way. One being his brother Ross. Ross selflessly, at the beginning of this year, stated that he didn't even care if he hunted. His goal was to tag along with Cole and film him hopefully killing a big buck and that's exactly what happened. So sit back, relax, enjoy this show. It means a ton to me and uh, I hope it means just as much to you. Thank you so much for watching Trophy Pursuit. Keep checking back in. We've got a lot of shows coming your way. I think we've got 12 of them that we're in the process of editing right now and we plan on releasing those every three to four days. So keep checking back in. Best of luck the rest of uh, this season, and we'll see you soon. It's November the 6th. Uh, we've had everything go wrong that could go wrong. Um, you know, I, uh, hunting as a quadriplegic has its um, issues anyways, its hardships anyways, but this morning uh, the chair that I can actually get around in, this action track chair, decided to have a mechanical issue, so we've been messing around with it for an hour getting it fixed. I shouldn't say we, I should say my brother. Ross has uh, really been fighting with it this morning and we finally got it ready and uh, we're all sick cut up and uh, we're on my favorite farm on a on a day that resonates with me a lot. November 6th was the last um, rut buck that I ever took back in 2010. Uh, it was a great deer and uh, it was with a bow. Today I'm uh, taking advantage of a really special opportunity that Iowa, the state of Iowa has given me and other uh, quadriplegics, paraplegics, non-ambulatory hunters. They have a special tag um, that is a third tag, like either sex tag, um, where I can use a shotgun or a muzzle loader anywhere from September 19th until January 10th during any open, any open deer season. So we've only got two more days after today to hunt this farm. Uh, it's my favorite place in the world to hunt whitetails. I know we're getting a late start, but I know it's still gonna be a good day.
As we set up in the blind, I'd like to take you back to 2012. It was a hunt that took place just 300 yards from here, and it just happened to be the last buck I would take from a tree. Excited. I'm shaking like a leaf and uh, I want to get down and go put my hands on my deer. Well, it's the middle of the day, November 6th. We're still out here. Uh, best place in the world to see a deer and we haven't seen a single one yet uh, everything looks right it feels right maybe a little warm but uh, a lot of anticipation for uh, this evening's hunt DRT. All right, man. All right. That's awesome. Man, I knew, I knew that November 6th was going to be good to me today. We went through so much this morning, bad luck, and uh, I didn't want to tell it to Ross, but he's going to know it now that I tell him, but... I just knew it was going to happen today. I just kept thinking to myself, we did not go through all that this morning and all the messing around with my chair to come out here and not get it done. I just knew it was going to happen tonight, and it did. This is just awesome. I've got some of the best friends in the entire world here with me. Ross, of course, sitting here next to me, beside me behind the camera he told me at the beginning of this year he said I'm not gonna stop filming you until you get a good one he said you don't have to film me a bit you're gonna get a buck this year and man you're right we we just got a pretty good one uh, also sharing the woods today with the two people that got me into deer hunting two of my best friends in the world um, Matt Thurlby and Todd Marlowe those two guys we've we've hunted this farm together for 15 this makes 15 or 16 years now I think it was 1999 that I first hunted with them so um, just awesome awesome feelings I'm getting a little chilly so hand me the heavier coat I'm gonna get a heavy coat on hey uh, we just went down over the hill right where we saw him get up after that shot we knew it was a good shot we reviewed it on the film came up here muzzleloader shot there's not a lot of blood we found where he laid down a couple drops into the timber Ross walked into the timber and he just made it across the little ravine he went about 60 yards so we got to go out and around uh, to get to him but I can't tell you how excited I am to get over there and get my hands on him This deer kind of fooled us uh, when he came in. He came in so quick and I thought, well, you know, he's a three-year-old, but I really want to get this done. Done. I, you know, I want to put one under my belt uh, from the chair and, 
And so I shot him, and I was so happy. I mean, he's not got but a 120-inch rack, maybe, and a split brow tine. Um, but just a, a great night, and I can't wait to celebrate it with everybody when we get back. So thanks for watching Trophy Pursuit. Uh, follow along. There is a bunch of big bucks that have been taken this week by the guys, and uh, we can't wait to bring them to you. They say success and failure is often determined by one split second. One chance, one opportunity, one moment. These are the moments we live for. This is my moment. For some, it's about climbing the corporate ladder. For us, it's a different kind of climb. For some, it's all about the concrete jungle. For us, it's all about the great outdoors. We are addicted to the training. We are addicted to the preparation. We are addicted to the faith. We are addicted to the hunt. We are bow addicts.